Fish Feeding Procedure Fish feeding is essential and determines the success of the fish farm. The fish feed cost ranges between 50% to 60% of the total cost, so it is essential to make a rational use. Necessary Equipment A scale up to 20 kg with an accuracy of up to 5 grams. Buckets or bags to separate the daily amount of fish feed for each tank. Before feeding, we must check the following things. The fishes should be in a good condition, not lethargic. The tank should be clean and the oxygen level should be between the desired limits, above 4.5 parts per million or ppm. The fish feed for each tank is calculated as follows. Total biomass multiplied by percentage DFR, which is daily feeding rate as per the food company supplier. Let's take an example for tilapia. Say we have a total of 500 fishes and the average weight of fish is 120 grams. Then the total biomass will be 500 multiplied by 120 grams, meaning 60 kilograms. Therefore, the total daily fish feed required is 60 multiplied by 1.5% which is equal to 900 grams per day. At this average fish weight, the fish food supplier is giving 2.0 mm fish feed 1.5% daily. We should choose a location above the fish tank from which we can observe the behavior of the fish during feeding. We should distribute the food in the tank so that all the fish have the opportunity to eat well. It is common for the larger fish to come and eat faster than the small ones. So we have to watch and make sure that all the fish are well fed. No matter if we did the right calculation as per the necessary daily food amount, special care is needed to avoid overfeeding and leftover food, which could make the tank dirty. At the end of the feeding, we should clean the area and record the observation. The selected feeding procedure will determine the food conversion rate or FCR of the farmed fish. The FCR is the amount of fish feed that is necessary to grow 1 kg of fish biomass. For example, FCR 1.8 means that we have given 1.8 kg of feed for each kilo of fish.